Hi, good morning, Becky. So Lowe's earnings and revenue beating estimates coming in at $4.25 adjusted and $47.57 billion respectively. The company notes strong sales trends continuing into August and is raising its full year forecast, but calling out the business environment remains uncertain, which is certainly true and gives them some cushion. However, Lowe's total sales did fall 1.6%. U.S. comparable sales falling 2.2%. Digital sales grew just 7% compared to 135% in the same quarter in 2020. Remember, that was a big pandemic stock up quarter. Comparatively, Rival Home Depot's total comps grew 4.5% and its U.S. comps grew 3.4%. In fact, in the last 21 quarters, Home Depot's U.S. comparable sales outperformed Lowe's 14 times. But Lowe's has beaten Home Depot's U.S. comp sales the last six six out of the last 10 quarters. This time though, Home Depot was again stronger. Lowe's has been working to attract more home improvement pros, 21% growth this quarter, noting strong sales across decor categories as well. Pros outpaced the DIYers at Home Depot for the second straight quarter as well. And if you take a look at shares, Lowe's shares are up about 5% in pre-market after selling off yesterday in sympathy with Home Depot. That Lowe's call begins at 9 a.m. Year to date, Lowe's shares just barely underperforming Home Depot at this point, up 18% versus up 20%. And just moments ago, I spoke to Lowe's CEO, Marvin Ellison, who said, look, we know there are uncertain times, but we are extremely optimistic on the long-term outlook for home improvement industry. We believe our consumer will continue to invest in their home. Home Depot noted inflation was responsible for about 420 basis points of its sales on average. And when I asked Allison, he said, quote, we definitely saw it in the first part of the quarter on the average ticket, which is up double digits. Inflation impacted that by roughly 400 basis points. Andrew, back over to you.